of something else for a musician. You've, you've put your whole life into it. You've sacrificed um, so many other things for the sake of, of being there. And that was that was my experience as well. It was sort of a question of what, what have I done with my life? Alex McDonald, who's been playing the piano for the past 24 years, never questioned the time he devoted to it until his freshman year in college. First noticed a sharp shooting pain going right up my arm. I couldn't even touch a piano for a week. Alex was crippled by tendonitis in both wrists. The pain was bad enough, but there were serious implications for his career. It's a little bit taboo to mention that you're having arm problems because, or, or back problems or what, or what have you, because if that rare concert opportunity that you're dying to have comes up, they're going to go with the healthier person. Injuries like Alex's are a little talked about, but serious problem for musicians. According to a 2004 study, musculoskeletal injuries like tendonitis affect between half and three quarters of professional musicians. They suffer from a huge range of problems. For violinists, it's usually the shoulder or back that goes. Pianists often have wrist and elbow issues. Within the college level students, there's probably 70% who are suffering from something. Dr. Kathleen Riley uses a process called biofeedback to measure exactly how musicians are using their body when playing. With the help of electrodes attached to their muscles, video cameras and an electric piano, Riley can show them why they're feeling pain. I'd like you to play with both hands, so I'd like you to go and then just rest and then again. If you were a runner and you sprained your ankle, you would go through rehabilitation. After that point, you would start in gradually to begin to be able to run again. What do most musicians do? They go right back into practicing. This student has tendonitis. Dr. Riley can see from the screen that her shoulders are too tense and her arms are too stiff. But by the end of the lesson, there had been a huge improvement. The intervention and then the retraining, you know, making sure that the muscles then learn how to do something properly, that's really, really important. The Juilliard School of Music tries to prevent injuries before they occur. Laurie Schiff has been teaching the Alexander Technique at Juilliard for 20 years. It's a method of improving posture and making movement more effortless. And with the violin, we're going a little bit, a little bit forward. So you're lengthening. It's partly psychological. If students know what muscles they're using, they can learn to relax the ones they don't need. They think they're sitting up straight, but what's happened is there's an enormous amount of tension through here that feeds up into here, and then you've got a big compression here. That's a lot of things going like this that are in conflict with a body that wants to move very freely. Alex took Schiff's class for four years and says he's now able to play any piece he wants. He wishes more musicians realized injuries aren't something to take lightly. This is a problem that ought to be addressed openly, um, and that it, that's the only way it can be addressed.